welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. Happy Wednesday. As they say, happy hump day. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today. So today I have been doing so many colors. I wanted to kind of like bring it back a little bit. And I love black and white. But this is black and white with a little bit of a twist. Um, I wanted to try something out and see what would happen. So today I'm going to be doing a ring pour, or you want to call it a tree ring pour, with the Primal Flow acrylic paints. Um, and I did add a little bit of the medium, just a little bit on the bottom, just like a squirt in each cup. That's it. Um, but the twist is between each layer of paint, I wanted to add, because I've been dying to try this, this galactic um, glitter from Primal Flow. So I wanted to add glitter in the paint, not afterwards, like sprinkle it on top or anything. I wanted to see what would happen to the rings um, while, you know, I want to see if like the, the uh, glitter just kind of... I almost want to see what it does. I want to see how the paint moves with the glitter between each layer and they sink all to the bottom. I have no idea what's going to happen. But I really want to get that glitter in there. I'm not going to, and I'm not going to dump a, a lot, a lot of glitter on each layer. Just, just a little bit on each one. Let's see what happens. Let's see how I feel. I may dump a lot. Who knows? But I just wanted to try it out. So, um, this is an 8x8 canvas, okay? So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to layer my colors in this little paper cup here and we're going to do a tree ring pour today. So I'm real simple but just with the added little bit there with the galactic uh, glitter from Primal Flow. And I just wanted to show you these real quick. Let me get the light better on them. There you go. I've been working at night making these. Usually I do my resin art, but I took a little break because yesterday I did that big piece, which we are going to present right now. So I'm going to come back and unmold it, but I just wanted to show it. So three, two, one. So let's move this box out of the way. Okay. So as you see, I did check it. Um throughout the day yesterday to see what was going on with it so what I love is that I guess I guess because I did use the torch the colors just spread out even more now I have no idea what it's gonna look like on the other side um, it may be where the rings are still intact and just this uh, this top here um, has spread out but either way I'm okay with it like if it turned out like this or it, you know, just still has the rings I had made. I have no idea. I have not unmolded it. I haven't even checked it at all. So we are going to unmold this bad boy right now. Okay, so I will be back in two seconds. And I will see you in a minute. Hey guys, I am back. So let's unmold this bad boy, okay? Now the back is a little sticky because I guess there was some wet resin there. So this seems to be unmolding very, very easily. I may uh, paint the edges, but let's see what it looks like first. Let's not jump the gun here. May not need anything. All right. It's been a little under 24 hours, so let's see, oh, here we go, okay, oh wow, oh, -hoo -hoo. wow, that, wow, this is literally like glass, even with the color in it, this is amazing. So it did retain the um, the shape of the circles. This is amazing. I am in love with this. This is so beautiful. So I love both sides. This is like 
absolutely gorgeous. And look, that is, this clear cast is really, really good. It's a little fingerprints for mine. Um, sorry about the white, but I just wanted to show you. This came out really, this is like a Mardi Gras coaster if I ever saw one. Wow, look at that. Look, it's like reflecting everything. It's reflecting my camera. <laughs> that is really beautiful. I am incredibly, wow, I am incredibly happy with it. Um, I don't know. Uh, the gold is kind of like on the edges with the that aqua color. Um, I may not paint gold on it. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But uh, I don't think it needs anything. I think I'm going to leave it. I don't know. What do you think? Sound off in the comments below. So I hope you like this. Wow, it is reflecting everything. I'm trying to get like a good... I know you can see it, but like it is so shiny. It is literally reflecting my camera stand, everything. Anyway, so I will be back. I'm going to set up for the paint. Uh, the painting today. I hope you like this little, little, this huge coaster here. It came out really pretty. And I will see you guys in a minute.
guys, I am back. So that was kind of weird to me that in the cup that I poured out of, it looked like the paint, like the black was really taking over the white. I was like, ugh, how annoying. But I said, well, let me just wait because, you know, when you start stretching it out, um, the rings, when you're tilting, things could happen very quickly. So, I, um, when I did that, then it actually turned more white and gray than black, which was very, very weird. But I actually enjoy this. This is very cool. Um, I really like the pattern in here. And I don't know if you could see the glitter. It is very hard to see. I'm going to angle the camera this way. I don't know if you could see that. There it is. It's really fine glitter. You can barely see it, but it actually came out pretty cool. So at first I didn't like it because it kind of turned more gray. And there's like some black rings in there. So it was kind of weird that it was predominantly black. Now it's predominantly white and gray, but I kind of like it. And the glitter looks really pretty. There it is, you can barely, barely see it. Yeah, so that is that. I hope you like that. It was just an experiment, you know. And uh, is it my favorite? No, not really, but it's kind of cool. I got a lot of micro cells in there as well that I kind of like. So this was fun. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my little experiment. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm, you know... It's just black and white, which turned a little gray, but that's okay, it happens. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. You can follow me on social media. My links are below in the description, as well as all the materials I use. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a great day.